kids Steve coming at you again and this time I'm going to open four packs from a box I just bought for 10 bucks of Stadium Club 91 Series 1 and four packs of Stadium Club 91 Series 2 before I do that little public service announcement if anyone has any of this Will Clark from 1987 tops I am a big collector of his let me know what you want, or just send them, and I will open them on a mail day video. I just always liked him. It is a rookie card, not worth much. And if I remember right, his very first Major League hit was a home run, which is pretty awesome. And I just wish he could have kept it up for a lot longer, but I do like that. If anyone has any extras unused of the Panini Donruss sweepstakes cards, I would be glad to take those off your hands. If you use them and keep them yourself, that's fine too. No, no skin off my back. I'm first going to open this kind of a dud of a pack. The... 2019 Series 1 Tops Baseball. Maybe we can get lucky. We got this hanger pack in one of the um, boxes that my mom ordered as a kind of a grab bag box. But let's see here. Rookie Bud Rookie or Bo Rookie, sorry. Losiga and I know I'm butchering names, so it's that happens. Not got much here. The Heath Fillmeyer, Kyle Tucker, Garrett Hampson, a lot of rookies, but again, kind of a dud of a pack. Brandon Lau, rookie. Not getting a whole lot here. Calhoun, Future Star. There's an insert of Ryan O'Hearn. <laughs> Great. Oh, jeez. I got an Adrian Beltre. Major League Bat Relic Card. That? How, how unexpected is that? Lord. It's not numbered, but you know what? That's awesome. I think he's a future Hall of Famer myself. Thank you. Let's see what else we have here right away. Um, not much. Oh, well, there's a Glaber Day um, Gold Cup card. And uh, let's see what else might we have here. Doesn't look like anything major. Jack Flaherty. If anyone noticed anything in here that I didn't, please comment below. The rookie cards are so-so. Yohern is only saved because it's the 84 design. And that was pretty sweet. When I get thick cards, instead of scrunching them into even the thicker sleeves and top loaders, I don't like that. I get these here from the same company that I get everything from, Ultra Pro. These are 25 count holders. I just get them in there. That way the corners always stay. People can check it out, take it out a lot easier if they need to. I just love those. Now, how about what we all came here for? Let's take the first four packs off of these, the Series 1. Hopefully not bricked up. Looking for some of the variations, which will be cards without foil on them. We've seen those. And looking for some of the cool cards. Frank Thomas, Nolan Ryan Tuxedo, 
Uh, Robin Yount, obviously for me. Love Robin Yount. Um, Ken Griffey Jr. card is really nice looking. And I'll try to do a couple of these each time so as not to go too long. Trying to be careful, I don't want to ruin any of the cards. Because in PSA condition, some are worth quite a bit. Uh, you got Jeff Bagwell, Rookie in Series 2. I like looking for Hall of Famers. Oh, and these aren't bricked up at all. Nice. And I heard tonight someone say that there is a Otis Nixon error card. I do not know what that error is, nor am I familiar with it. So if anyone else does, please let me know again in the comments below. And also in my description, I will put my mailing address if you get a wild hair somewhere. And you feel like sending me something, because I always showcase what people send me and all the different items I get. And I've had quite a few incredible mail days so far. And it's all thanks to you guys. We have to keep growing the community and living on a budget just like Junk Wax Girl doing her Fairfield boxes. She's done very well. Just like the one and only Bud Stoney does extremely well. You have Rippin for Ripkins. You have uh, Bearded Collector does just a great job with all kinds of good stuff. Uh, random card rips with Ryan. You have <clears throat> excuse me. You have who was that I was thinking of? FDC Family, I believe. And there's a bunch. Brewers Cards Forever. I love his lunch day rips. He likes his brewers, as do I, but you look for everything. Daryl Strawberry, yay. Believe it or not, that's the best card we've got so far. Well... Yeah, we started with Series 2, just because, to me, the better stuff is in Series 1, but they both cost only 10 bucks a box. And the Antique Mall, Fox River Antique Mall in Appleton, Wisconsin. If anyone's close or can get out there, they had quite a few card tables or stands there, and they all produce good stuff for me if you watch my videos. I showcase that, and... Had a good time there. Well, Tom Glavine, there's a Hall of Famer. We have Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer. This is not a bad pack at all. Sorry about the background noise. I'm watching, um, what is this? The New Adventures of Monkey or something like that on Netflix, obviously. Anything with the word monkey, but this is good. It's like the mystical arts meets sci-fi. It's a pretty decent. Series 2 just came out, so I had to play that. Pedro Guerrero, everyone liked him back in the day. Now we got a little bit of stickage. Oh, and the back of these cards is pretty cool. Ray Langford rookie shows his rookie card. It tells you what it is, the Topps debut from 1990, and stats if they have them. Once we get a decent established player, I will show that to you. And uh, yes, my definition of decent will be different than most people's. Bill Wegman, second time I've already seen him. Now the Tony Gwynn, but we did not get another Tom Glavine. And let's see here. Come on. Oh, there's three of them there. There's not been a whole lot of paper loss, which is good. Okay, now we're into Series 1. I kind of expect these to stick together a little more. 
but we'll see. Again, for $10 a box, how can you pass that up? I got two boxes of number one, a box of number two, a box of 91 Leaf Series 1, and a box of 91 Leaf Series 2, all for 10 bucks a piece. I'm just kicking myself for not cleaning the guy out completely, though. Really should have. He had his packs for a dollar a piece or boxes for ten. Hey, look. Should I send that to Jab's family? Nah, it's not a rookie card. Let's see here. Kelly Downs, Jason Grimsley. I feel another one in there. And that will be Dave Vale. Funny, these never seem to stick to anything. Joe McGrain. Chuck Cram Baseball Checklist. Mark Gubiza. A couple other known names. DJ Serhoff was on a tear for a long time. Then the Orioles happened. Larry Walker. All right. That's actually a pretty sweet card. Not considered his rookie, but by all means, but a Hall of Famer nonetheless. With no paper loss. And he looks like Danny to me from Caddyshack, just sitting there. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. Man, these, these packs were a lot easier to open back in the day when we bought them. But, hopefully... We can pull something decent, or we can pull Junior Ortiz, you know. Whatever. <laughs> this time it's sticking to it. Yay. Alright, there's that. Wow, a lot of paper loss between Robin Ventura and Bruce Ruffin, and we're not even done with that yet. God. I'm glad the company's finally figured out not to put so much coating or to make them this way. I'm just sad it took them so long. I mean, look at that. That's horrible. Okay, Mark Grace. Kevin Tappany. Brandy Reddy. Lou Whitaker with paper loss. Kevin Bass, they're all getting paper loss right there. So nothing big, nothing big. Chore slack. Oof, Lord. Think that's a little paper loss there, kids? Well, that's a chance you take. I mean, you know. It really is. I'm okay. So far, actually, the best cards have been just fine. This pack, a little better, Lance Johnson, Ryan Sandberg with paper loss, so Hall of Famer, but he's pretty beat up, so we'll throw him over here. Kelly Downs and Scott Bradley. Mark Langston. Fernando. Oral Hershiser. Well... I think he owns a little white van down by the river. Paul O'Neill was on a great course. Got a little sidelined at the end. Sandy Elmar. Tom Gordon. And Harold Reynolds. Last pack magic. Kind of hope not the way they're sticking together, but you never know. So, so far, Series 2 is much better for A, Hall of Famers, and B, lack of stickiness, and ease of opening. Look at this, even the wrapper's sticking to these. Good Lord. Okay. Kurt Stillwell. Can you hear him crack? And yet they're still not unsticking. Who do we got on the back? Jim Je Jeff, Mike Jeffcoat. 
almost said Jeff Mikecoat. I don't even know what that means. Wow. Nothing big. Oh, geez. John Crook, the headless crook. And the bottomless. Who's that? Please be a Waffen. Nope. The bottomless Mike Fitzgerald. And there's the Jeff Coat. Oh, this is too bad. These aren't bad. Daryl Irvin. Irvine. Whatever. Steve Avery. Dante Bichette. Bo's daddy. Jerry Brown. Dave Winfield. Come on. Hall of Famer. Uh, paper loss. And here you go. Shane Mack. It's actually kind of a really cool pose. And Charlie Hayes. Well, thank you for watching. I will be doing more of these. Or less, depending. But, you all have a good night. And thank you, kids. And remember, be excellent to each other. And peace.